Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for you. And this is going to be the flower pacifier holder. Um, pretty much this clips onto the clothes and it just opens up and you just clip it onto the clothes. And you can get these clips on eBay. I think I got like about 12 of them for like a certain kind of price. I think it was like 4 or 5 dollars. And it's got a little flower at the end so it decorates the little shirt. And then it looks like leaves that come all the way down. And at the very end here, you attach the pacifier. And what you do is just bring this in and feed it all the way through, pretty much. And it hooks onto the pacifier. So when the baby drops its pacifier, it doesn't fall on the floor. It just hangs from the shirt or the clothing that it's wearing. So I'm going to show you how to make this cute, adorable little pacifier holder. We're going we're gonna to be using, if you ever get these as a gift, I got a bunch of these as a gift. Um, they're like little tiny balls of thread yarn, pretty much. This one's Lion Brian yarn, and this one's made by me. And I got a package of these in different colors um, as a gift, and I was like, what am I going to do with these? So I decided on making pacifier holders. They're great little threads. They're perfect for it. Um, I did the flower for one of them and look at how much yarn I still have left over so you can make multiple of these you don't not need that much and there's a lot in these little tiny balls here you have plenty to use so I'm using green I'm changing the color this is a sparkling green I love the color of this one I'm going to be using this one for the leaves I'll go with the dark purple and the light purple for this one or Actually, I think I'm going to go with the pink and purple because that's so pretty. So these are the two col the three colors I'm going to be using here. Let me see how tiny they are. Look at, they fit right in my hand. <laughs> then what we're going to be using is the clips, like I told you. And this is the bag that I got my clips in. And they're just clips that go in, as you can see here. They look like a little alligator. And I think they're all, they are called alligator clips or something like that. And you just snap them in there. You can even probably find these at Joann's. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. I've never shopped there because there's none around here. I wish there was because I get a lot of compliments on Hobby Lobby. But there is not one near where I live. So the only places I go is Joann's and Michael's. And I haven't checked to see if they have these. I just ordered them online because it's just affordable there. And then what we're going to be using is a 2.5 millimeter hook. Can't really see it. Really blurry. That's weird. Okay, so it's a 2.5 millimeter hook. Um, what we're going to be using for this project, using that type of yarn there. So to get started, you want to start by making your leaf. So, forget how many chains it was. Chains it was. Seventy two chains. So make your slip knot and chain up seventy two.
Okay, there's my 72. I'll move these to the side. Oh, and another thing. I got this thing as a gift. And it is a yarn bowl holder. So whenever I pull it, it stays in the bowl. I love it. I used to have dancing bowls in all my videos. Not anymore. So that's a good thing to get. You have. <laughs> Okay, so now we did that, what we're going to do is you're going to double crochet into the third chain. Do that again. Got shaky hands today for some reason. So you double crochet into the third chain, okay, and you're going to put five more double crochets into that same stitch, same chain. So you're doing that two, it's going to be six total, three, four, five, and six. So I did five double crochets into that same chain. Then you're going to skip two, go into the third chain again, slip stitch, just like so. Then you're going to skip two more, go into the third chain, put six double crochets, and you're going to do this all the way down. Skip two, slip stitch, skip two, put six double crochets. So if you're an advanced crocheter, go ahead and do that. So it's three, four, five, six. Skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. Oop, look at it, I didn't even finish that one. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so here we go, slip stitch. Skip two, go into the third chain, six double crochets. Every time I work with little yarn, my hands shake for some reason, so I'm sorry. I mean, literally, it's shaking. See that? Weird. <laughs> Okay, so there's three, four, five, six. And sorry about the dog. For some reason, every time I do a video, she barks. So we're going to skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two chains, go into the third chain, and five, do six double crochets, sorry. Skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two, go into the third chain and put six double crochets. Skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two, go into the third chain and put six double crochets.
skip to going to the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two, going to the third chain, six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip two, going to the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two, going to the third chain, six double crochets. Skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. Skip two, go into the third chain, six double crochets. Skip two, go into the third chain, slip stitch. And now we're going to go into the last chain and put 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I'm pulling tight on my loose end right here. Make sure that goes all the way in. Now we're going to be working on the opposite side here. And wherever you slip stitch, you're going to go right back into the slip stitch right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to stagger your your stitches. And as you can see, there's the chain right there. You don't want to go into the chain. You want to go right into that slip stitch so it come, goes all the way in. So you're going to slip stitch right into the slip stitch little loose right there, hold on. Just like so. So then you have like a little circle at the end and that's what you want. This is where the flower is going to be at. And now we're going to double crochet into that hole where you have your six double crochets. You're going right into the holes and you're going to put six double crochets. Now you're in a slip stitch where you use slip stitch at, right here as you can see. I'm not going into the chain, I'm going over the chain right into the stitch, the space in between the stitch, see that? Now I'm going to double crochet into, put six double crochets into my next space right here, the hole, and you just continue that all the way down. There's my six. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch as the same slip stitch right there. See? Now you're going to go into the hole again, put six double crochets into the next space right there.
Okay, now we're going to slip stitch in the slip stitch place. That wasn't it. Let me make sure I get it. And there it is. Now six double crochets. Don't worry about my loose end. I'll chop that off afterwards. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the same slip stitch space. Six double crochets into the next space. Slip stitch into the next slip stitch space. Six double crochets into the next space. Slip stitch in the next slip stitch space. Six double crochets into the next space. Slip stitch in the next slip stitch space. Six double crochets into the next. Slip stitch in the next slip stitch space. Six double crochets into the last one. Now we're going to slip stitch right on the top of our chain right here, which is not this stitch, but the next one over, which is like the second one over. You can see your stitches. Slip stitch. Okay, chain up 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, There's my chain of 30. Then you're going to go right back into that same st stitch that you did your slip stitch in and slip stitch this together and you want to fasten off from here. So I had my scissors somewhere around here. Okay, so we're just going to cut, pull that all the way through, make sure it's nice and secure. Then I forgot to tell you, you're going to be needing a tampress needle to sew it in. So get your tampress needle out. It's a long needle. And you want to just sew this right into here. And my other loose end, here it is. Just cut that 
out. I already sewed it through, crocheted it through actually. So here is our part right here. Now we gotta make the flower. So I'm gonna set this aside and get my pink. What did I do with the pink? There it is. I'm gonna start with the pink. Make a slip knot. You're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna put twelve double crochets. Actually, eleven, because you're okay, counting. Okay, so you're your going to double crochet eleven times in this last chain right here. So the very first chain that you did, that's the one we're gonna be doing. So you're gonna go right into there and put eleven double crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11 last one now what we're gonna do I'm pulling tight on my loose end here so it go, closes together you want to slip stitch on the very top of that chain that you did right here is slip stitch chain up one and now in the next stitch here you're going to put five I think it's five. Let me double check. It's five. Five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip a stitch, move to the next one, slip stitch, I think that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now we're going to put five double crochets into the next. Skip a stitch, move to the next, slip stitch, skip a stitch, go into the next, five double crochets. Now what we're going to do is put 11 double crochets into the very first chain you did, which is the very end right here, the end, and you're going to put 11 double crochets into the same chain. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we're going to pull tight on our loose end here. Slip stitch on the very top of that chain. See the other side? We're going to slip stitch to join. Chain up one. The next stitch you're going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the next, five double crochets into the next, one, two, three, 
four, five. Slip stitch in the next stitch, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. The next stitch, five double crochets. One, two, and there's five. Slip stitch in the next, and we're making our petals now. So these are the petals. Five double crochets into the next. Slip stitch in the next stitch, five double crochets into the next. Slip stitch in the next. Five double crochets into the last stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to slip stitch in the same stitch we did our first slip stitch at. Or chain up. Slip stitch, fasten off. Leave somewhat of a tail so you can sew it in. So now you're going to get your tamper's needle again, thread it, and what I like to do is feed it right through the middle where the other loose end is at so I can tie them together and sew them all together. So now I'm going to tie the two ends together and that secures it, oops, sewed it. Just sew the rest of them in and just cut the loose end off. That way it's like in there good. I'm going right back up on my stitches, just going around and then coming back around again. And it locks it for s and then I just cut the loose end off. So here's our petal. Now we're gonna change color. Second color, just fold your yarn over your finger to make like a little loop. And we are going to start by going into the little spaces where the holes are at. This is the back of it. See, this is the front. Now we're flipping it over, going into the back. And you can see right here in between here, you want to get in between the two double crochets. So there's one double crochet here, one double crochet here. You're going right in between there, going right into the space see that? You attach your yarn, chain up four, one, two, three, four, oops I'm doing it off the strand. Do that again. One, two, three, four. That's my loose end. And now we're going to just be going into each of these spaces you go right in between the two double crochets, grab that middle space right there in between the little petal, 
slip stitch. Let me do that again. Shaky, so it's loosening up on me. <laughs> slip stitch and chain up four. One, two, three, four. And you're doing this all the way around. Go right in between the two, right in between the hole, grab that little stitch, slip stitch, and chain up four. One, two, three, four. Go into the next, right in between the two double crochets, grab that stitch, pull right through, slip stitch, one, two, three, four, go into the next, right in between the two double crochets, grab that stitch, chain up four. One, two, three, four, go into the next one, right in between the two double crochets, grab that stitch. Oops, let me do that again, right in between. And you grab that stitch right there. It's like right in the middle of the hole. Chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going into the same one we started from. Grab it again. Slip stitch. Now we're going to chain up one. And in between, right in, we're going right in between the chain four. So we're going to double crochet 10 times in over that chain. So you're going right into the space. See that? Let me do that again. See the space right here? Where my finger's at? Going right in there. And putting 10 double crochet, triple crochets, sorry. Double crochets. Is it double? Let me double check. Yes, it's double crochets. So you want to put 10 double crochets. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to slip stitch in the same stitch as that same sli slip stitch you did. Go right into that same one, slip stitch. Now you're going to do 10 double crochets into the next chain 4 space. Slip stitch in the same slip stitch that you did. Ten double crochets into the next chain four space. I like to fold mine so I can get the stitches. It's a lot easier for me. Okay, now I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch as the same slip stitch I did. The next chain four space, you want to put 10 double crochets, and you're just repeating this all the way around. You're making the second petals of the flower. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Now we're going to slip stitch in the same stitch as the same slip stitch. And my last chain four, no, I have two more. So in the next chain two space, chain four, sorry, five double crochets. Slip stitch in the same slip stitch space. Now we're going to put 10 double crochets into our last chain 4 space. Slip stitch in the same slip stitch space and fasten off. Leaving a tail to sew in. So what I'm going to do is tie the two ends together that we started from. So it secures it and then sew the ends together. Okay, so when you open it up, because I folded mine a lot, so I'm opening it up, laying it flat. This is our flower. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Now you want to get the green yarn. And you want to get a long piece. See, this is what I have here. I'm going to thread my needle and we're going to sew this on to our leafy part here. So we're getting that round circle part without the loose end. And it doesn't matter which side you put it on, whichever side you like. And you are going to sew this on to the flower. I like to put it right in the center of the circle. Just like so, and I sew all the way around, and then we're gonna put the little sew the clip on. So let me sew this on first. I like to use a lot of thread left over, so I don't have to thread my needle twice. So I have enough to sew on the clip too.
now I'm going to go all the way up just a little bit here and go on the very edge like right in the middle of the line right here the thread you want to get your clip when putting your clip on the smooth part goes like this see you're gonna do it backwards so you can see the clip like this you don't want to have it this way because it just you're gonna clip it on backwards so you want to have it like this and I like to attach it right in the center of the flower and I just sew it along the little part right here and I go all the way down and then go back up again and it secures it so now I'm going right back up again And wherever my loose end is at, I'm going to thread my needle, sew it all the way through to get onto that side right there. And I'm going to tie the two ends together to secure it. This way, then these ends won't be loosening up and falling apart. Okay, so it's like it's complete now and you have your little clip on there and you can clip it on there and you can also bedazzle this you can even get some rhinestone um, buttons put in the center or any type of button I'm gonna sew this button on here because I just love the way it looks and you just go right into the center attach your button And go right into the center again. I'm leaving it loose so I can pull nice and tight on there and sew this twice on there. Go right back in there again and feed it to the other side a little bit. And then I'm pulling nice and tight so those two strands will hold right in there. Double tie it. And at this point I'm just going to cut the ends off. And there it is. Isn't that adorable? You got your little pacifier holder. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment and subscribe below. If you guys are interested in me doing a tutorial, just um, go to my Facebook fan page or if you're a member of my crocheting group on Havoc Mayhem Creations on Facebook, there is a tutorial list located into the files and you can always add a, um, a comment there letting me know which tutorial you would like me to do. And I'm slowly going down that list making sure I get these tutorials out there for you. Um, so it might take some time because it's a huge list. <laughs> Until next time, happy crocheting. Hope you guys enjoy this cute tutorial. Bye.